In today's YouTube video, I will be revealing to you my $1,000 per day net profit strategy selling on Amazon FBA. So I hit this goal about two years ago and here is a previous screenshot of how that looks like. So I will not be talking about sales numbers or any of that crap in today's video because obviously you are here to learn about net profit, money that goes straight inside of your bank account after all fees and expenses. So back then I made over $100,000 in sales every single month, which was about roughly $3,000 to $3,500 per day in sales. My profit margins were anywhere from 28 to 31%, leaving me with a net profit of over $1,000 every single day. I was obviously happy and over the moon when I achieved this goal, so I want to show you guys how you can do it for yourself. Now, this strategy is not something that can be done in five minutes or be done overnight, but with practice and with some time and with you doing some homework, I promise you that you will walk away with a winning product if you just follow everything that I tell you in this video step by step. The best part is I was able to make over $1,000 in net profit every single day by barely spending any money on Amazon PPC sponsored ads. Now you may be wondering, how did you do that? Well, it all comes down to finding a good product that does not require you to spend a lot on advertising. I am fully confident that products like this do exist that do not require a lot of PPC ad spend to launch your product because one of my students named Marie, she started my Amazon program in 2018, failed from her first product. However, now her second product is actually doing $25,000 in sales every single month with a net profit margin of 45%. And this is with zero PPC ad spend. So I know this strategy works and that is why I want to share it with you today. In my other YouTube videos, I always start with using Helium 10 black box and going down black box to find winning products. But in today's tutorial, I will show you something completely opposite and backwards. Now, before we dive inside of my computer for me to show you how to do this, make sure you guys check out my free training in the YouTube description below. If you are new to selling on Amazon and you do not know how to find winning products that will actually make you money, click on the free training link in the YouTube description below. Enter your name and enter your email address. Watch the free training webinar to the very end because you will get a chance to book a free one-on-one -on -one call with myself and my team and we will help you get this whole Amazon FBA business started and profitable for you. Okay, enough talking, let's dive inside. Today we will be doing Amazon product research a little differently than before. So if you guys have been watching my previous YouTube videos, you know how much I love to use black box Amazon product research. But today we are going into keyword research by using magnet because this is exactly what I did to find my first winning product. So right here, I am just going to type in a keyword for a product that comes to mind that is small, and simple and not fragile. So the reason why you want to think of smaller products that are light and simple is because you get charged less for Amazon FBA fees and your cost per unit will be a lot less compared to a large complex item. So I'm just going to type in metal straws because that is what came to mind right now. And what it's doing right here is that it's pulling up all of the related keywords to metal straws. This will give you a chance to look at other products that may come to mind. By the way, you can get 50% off Helium 10 by using my discount code right here. I will also link Helium 10 in the YouTube description below. So make sure you click on the link to get 50% off. So let's scroll down. And as you can see, there are other keywords popping up right here. This is actually good for our product research because it gives you other ideas for other products that you may want to source. 
So I won't be spending too much time on this page because I just want to show you that you can use these keywords for other product ideas. Right here we have Tumblr drawings, we have silicone, nectar collector. You get the idea, there are so many different ways to find products. But for the sake of today's tutorial, let's stick with metal straws because this is what came to mind. If you have any product that comes to mind, type it out in here and then scroll down to check out other product ideas. So let's go over to alibaba.com because I want to see how much does it cost per unit if I buy it from a supplier. So metal straws. You should always be focusing on products that are light and that is small and that is not easy to break. So for example, my very first winning product that got me my results that you saw earlier, I only sourced my product for 93 cents per unit. And then I sold it on Amazon anywhere between $12.99 to $15.99, depending on the season and the demand. So if you are a first time Amazon seller, I do recommend you to source a product that is under $3 per unit, get the exposure and experience selling on Amazon. And then for your second, third or fourth product, you can sell a product that is more expensive. So right here, it says that some of our metal straws are 20 to 50 cents per unit. This one is 5 cents to 29 cents per unit. And just so you are aware, these prices are not finalized because they are just giving you an estimate of how much it costs. After you give the supplier your custom packaging and your changes to the product, they may charge you more or they might charge you less. So it is very important for you to remember that these prices are just estimates. So you want to contact the supplier to get a final quote for how many units you want and how much it will cost, including your improvement and the number of units that you want to order. Now this is not finished. Just because we found a product that is light and small and cheap to source, we also have to do some more homework to make sure that this is a good product to sell. So let's go on over to amazon.com and type in metal straws. You want to make sure that your Helium 10 Chrome extension is installed because if it's not, you will not be able to see this information up here on top of the products. And we want to be using the profitability calculator to give us an idea how much profit we will be making from selling this metal straw. So let's scroll down until I find a product with a higher price point because any product that is priced this low, it's very hard to make a good profit. So I think I found one earlier. So this set of metal straws is being sold at $12.99 per set right here. And what we want to do is click on estimate profitability and you want to fill out all the information that you see right here for FBA. Don't use FBM because FBM means that you are fulfilling everything yourself and that is not what we are doing. We are doing Amazon FBA. So the price per unit is how much you want to sell your unit for, the dimensions of the product you can get from your supplier, the weight of your product, you see how light that is? Always make sure that you are selling a super light product and package very small because that will, again, decrease your Amazon FB fees. And right here is the estimated unit manufacturing cost. And freight cost, I always like to put in about three bucks per kilo because that is pretty standard to get an estimate when it comes to shipping. Okay, so when we look down here, looks like my net profit for every single unit sold is $5.36 and my profit margin is over 40%, which is really, really good. You want to try to find a product to sell on Amazon that is over 30% because that's pretty industry standard. So let's just go over the steps. You want to first use Helium 10 Magnet to type in any product that comes to mind to get product ideas. Make sure that you are looking for products that are light and small and that is not easy to break. Then you are going to go over to alibaba.com to see how much it will cost per unit. And remember, the lower the price per unit will help you because you are lowering your risk. And finally, you want to do the math right here so you can see how much money you can potentially make for every single unit sold. I forgot to mention, you should aim for a higher profit margin percentage right here because the higher the profit margin percentage, the more room you have for running Amazon PPC sponsored ads. 
If you don't know what Amazon PPC ads are, then I suggest you to check out this video right here where I break down for you how to start your very first Amazon PPC campaign. Now, whether or not you have to run PPC for your product really depends on the product and its demand. I somehow found a winning product that required little to no PPC. So I hope that is the case for you as well. If you have any questions, make sure you drop me a comment in the comment section below of this video. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a huge thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video.